the two women taking their places. Kim, just 18 years old, facing 21-year-old Nascimento of Brazil for this bronze medal in the women's 57 kilo. Well, straight away with an old Chigari attempt. Now she's working on a turnover and she manages, ah, uh, just miss landing her opponent on to her back. And she's working on that arm trap again. We, we saw her doing this several times in the earlier rounds successfully. You can see she got the turnover and now she just has to free her leg. Is she able to manage to get that pin? Well, Nascimento was able to trap the Korean's leg and now you can see Kim freeing her leg again. referee calls Mate yeah. to stop. The Nascimento uh, came through this by uh, just missing out on the uh, on the semi-final. Kim has been through the repechage. So uh, I imagine she's fought a lot more than the Brazilian. Well, surprisingly, um, they actually both fought four matches. Oh. Yeah, normally the person who comes to repechage fights a little bit more, like one or two more. But because the way the draw is set up randomly, they end up with four matches each. First penalty for passivity going to Nascimento. Yeah, the Jadokas have to show the referee that they are building towards an attack or they'll be penalized. And it's three penalties and you're out in this tournament. You can see Kim really likes to follow up with the transition to the groundwork. Gets her arm inside. Working on that turnover. So, so strong to get her over there. Oh, yes. A lot of good leverage she's using. I know she mental does well to defend. So once again, you see is trying something a little bit different, grabbing the lower part of that jacket, setting up for a surprise attack. Oh, another penalty to the Brazilian. She's got one last chance. One more penalty and she's out. And there's still a lot of time left in this match. Failed attack from Nascimento with the Coso de Gari. Coaches at the side of the mat, only allowed to coach during interruptions in the match. Kim drops down for shoulder throw, over rotated. She's setting up again with that shoulder throw, this time standing. Now she drops down for what seems to be a Tayotoshi, a body drop. So as long as Kim keeps this rate of attack, and she could force a third penalty on her opponent. Oh, oh, oh. And a counter-attack from the Brazilian. Kim, a bronze medalist at the World Junior Championships a couple of years ago. Picked up a bronze. Oh. Need to land them on their backs to score. Well, that she just missed a little bit of that rotation to land Nascimento onto her side or her back. Kim will feel that she's building momentum not just in this fight, but all season. Here she is fighting for bronze at the Universiade. And she's managed bronze already this year at the Grand Slam in Paris. Oh, third penalty for the Brazilian. And so the match is decided on penalties in the end. 
Jisoo Kim of Korea, 18 years old, takes the bronze medal here, beating Kathleen Nascimento. And you have to say that most of the attacking came from the Korean. That's right. Nascimento looked a little bit lost when she was fighting. She didn't know what to do because the Korean just attacked it relentlessly. She almost seemed a little bit intimidated, the Brazilian. I guess you could say that, yes. You can see in the highlight, she, she was working on that turnover. Now coming wide stands for that Tayutoshi. This is this shoulder throw, Ipon Silagi. She almost gets countered by the Brazilian, who just has such a strong hip defense. Change of direction with that Ochigari. Congratulations.